Viewing this primitive Japanese hand squirt in the unique museum of the London Fire Brigade, it's difficult to associate such a device with modern firefighting appliances. But it was in fact an 18th century ancestor, though a very feeble one. This manual fire engine, with its lateral pumping levers, looks antiquated to us now. But it immediately preceded the steam fire engine, was in use even up to the end of the last century. At the time, it was the final word in fire engine construction. The last word today is an engine with a totally enclosed, streamlined body, designed by Major Morris, Chief Officer of the London Fire Brigade, and the LCC are justly proud of it. The storage space for the equipment is considerably greater than the older type, and twice as much hose can be carried. A powerful turbine pump is capable of delivering 800 gallons of water a minute. The extension ladder is employed when conditions do not permit the use of escapes, as in gardens and narrow alleyways. The latest breathing apparatus enables men to remain at work in poisonous atmospheres for an hour. The exhaled breath is purified by a chemical absorbent, enriched by oxygen and breathed again. Only the fireman can fully realize the value of this equipment. The escape has been in use in London for many years. It is manually operated and can be extended up to 50 feet. Primarily, it's used for life saving. A recent introduction is the dual purpose appliance, a motor pump and escape in one. Another welcome innovation is the canteen van. A mobile, slimed and steam-lined cafe, which dispenses refreshment to the men who are on long periods of duty. Cheerio!